Hello everyone, I am Tanu Joon and I welcome you all to the next episode of question discussion series of Dips Academy. Today we are going to discuss a question of IIT JM 2021 mathematics examination. This is a question of linear algebra. Let's start with the question. In this question, we have given the space of all n cross n real matrices and any arbitrary matrix A. We need to find out the dimension of the subspace spanned by the set. So what do we have? We have any arbitrary matrix A in M and R. Let W be the space spanned by span of I a that is powers of a we are considering the subspace spanned by powers of a and we need to find out the dimension of w this is unknown see we know that every matrix a satisfies its characteristic for longer that is clear hamilton's theorem and let c x be care poly of A. Degree of Cx is always n, where n is a n cross n matrix. Now, if I consider any polynomial Px, let Px be any polynomial in Rx. Because we, we have to find out the space spanned by these powers of A. That space also contain the linear combination of these powers. That means the space contains polynomials with A as a discriminant. So, for any polynomial Px in Rx and Cx, that is characteristic polynomial of A, I can apply division algorithm here. Division algorithm which states that for px is equals to qx into cx plus rx for some qx rx belongs to this space for some qx and rx belongs to the space of real polynomials there is also one more condition that and either the polynomial rx is zero polynomial or we must have degree of rx strictly less than degree of cx this is our division algorithm applied on cx and px now we have px is equals to qx into cx plus rx where degree of rx is less than degree of cx or either rx is zero polynomial using kelly hamilton's theorem using kelly hamilton theorem We have it says that every polynomial satisfies every matrix satisfies its characteristic polynomial. That is, if Cx is care polynomial, then Caa must be equals to zero. That is, A should satisfy Cx. So using this, we have if I replace x by the matrix A, then P of A should be equals to QA, CAA plus RA. Now by our important result, Kelly Hamilton theorem, this is equals to 0, which implies P of A is equals to R of A. Right? And we have known that degree of R x is less than n which implies degree of r a which is a polynomial in a must be less than n that is any polynomial 
in A can be expressed as a polynomial in A with degree less than n. So I can say that the W set space spanned by this set is equals to the space spanned by this set. So the whole space, the powers of A, which can generate the space W, can be restricted to up to these n powers of A. Therefore, dimension of W must be less than equals to n. We till now we don't know whether this is the Li set or no, but the cardinality of this set is n. So the basis, because it is a spanning set, so the basis must contain less than equals to n elements. Therefore, option D, which states that the dimension of W is at most n is correct. But also we have, so we got to know that option A is incorrect. And as n square is always greater than n whenever n is greater than 1. So option B is incorrect. Now we need to see whether it is less than equals to n or exactly equals to n. So if I consider identity matrix of order 3 here we have n equals to 3 and characteristic polynomial of identity matrix is x cube minus 3x square plus 3x minus 1 this is characteristic polynomial of identity matrix this implies c of a a is equal to 0 which implies a cube minus 3a square plus 3a minus i equals to 0. But we know that minimal polynomial of identity matrix is x minus 1 that is also a matrix is also satisfies its minimal polynomial. And minimal polynomial is the least annihilating polynomial for any matrix. So MAA is equal to 0, which implies A minus I equals to 0. So in this case, the W space spanned by I A A square should be equals to as we have proved in the last slide that it should be equals to i a a square and its dimension should be equals to less than equals to n but as a square equals to a equals to i so if we consider this as set then this is equals to single set generated by the singleton element i this implies dimension of W in this case is 1 which is strictly less than 3. Therefore, option C is also incorrect. We have used only two things here that we can apply division algorithm in any two polynomials and every matrix satisfies its characteristic polynomial and using that we go to know that any matrix the space W's this is equals to the space spanned by. We have restricted this already up to n terms and then we got to know that it can be less than n but it depends on minimal polynomial. The space dimension of W for any arbitrary matrix dimension of W is nothing but that degree of minimal polynomial of matrix. It can be equals to the degree of characteristic polynomial. It can be less than equal less than to the degree of characteristic polynomial. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. I hope you have understood the question. Thank you so much for watching the video. For any comments and queries, you can comment in the comment section. Thank you.